Hello and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Sebine. We are rounding out our Halloween week by showing you some brand new Halloween fabric collections that you can get your hands on. You still have plenty of time to actually get this done for this Halloween and the possibilities are endless. Whether you want a Halloween quilt or you wanna make a treat bag for your kids or your grandkids, there's so much fun that can happen. I think also we did a whole bunch of holiday placemats with Quilt As You Go placemats. You 100% could make that happen with the strip roll that we have here too, and you can have a whole Halloween set. It would be so much fun. All right, we're gonna start out with Haunted Hollow. This is from Clothworks Fabrics, and it is pretty cute, and we have all the pre-cuts. Um, we are gonna have some strip rolls, so again, if you're thinking of doing some quilt as you go placemats, this would be fabulous for that. Um, and then we have coordinating yardage that you can grab with that. And then we also have a five and a 10 inch charm pack, but we're gonna start before we take a peek at all the fabrics that are in here. Look at the panel that they put together with it. It's super cute. So this panel is really fun. It is about two thirds of a yard of fabric and they have made it so that it is about the same level. So you could easily have this be a bag front and this be a bag back and then just get some coordinating fabric for your handles and lining and you have an instant treat bag. It would be super simple, super fast. Um, here is another example of a panel. So this is another one that you could fussy cut and just let it be big. This looks like it's supposed to be like a window in there. And then on the bottom, we have some more goodies as well. So again, these are the same height. Um, this one isn't cut straight down the middle quite like this one is, but this is almost straight down the middle of that fabric, the same height, it's perfect for a treat bag. The other thing you can do with panels is you can just square it up, add some borders to get it to be a multiple of 12, and then just surround it with some blocks. Any, any quilt block that finishes 12 inches square, which is many, you can 100% just make that work and let this just be the center of your quilt. It's like God's gift to quilters because it gets you like a whole two by four section or three by four section that's just done. And you don't have to make those 12 blocks. You can just put this in the center of your quilt and then put a bunch of other goodies around it and have some fun with that. These panels are only available if you get a fat quarter bundle of this collection. Now let's take a closer look at the other fabrics that are in this collection. All of these are gonna be in our fat quarter bundles as well as in the pre-cuts. I love it when they come out with a blender that is part of the collection because then you don't have to go searching and try and find the perfect orange that's gonna work. This is a really great medium scale orange and you can tell it matches perfectly with that pumpkin. This one is really cute. I think this would look great on a large scale in any quilt pattern or maybe as a Halloween treat bag. We have an owl and a ghost going around a tree with black cats and crows and bats and spider webs. It's just perfect and it's adorable. And of course we have to have some black cats on orange. It's this nice mottled orange background so it has a lot of dimension to it. It's a really fun medium scale print. All right, we've got more of a little bit lighter mottled orange here. It's the same print as this one, but it's more on the scale of like the background of this orange. So you can get a lot of dimension and fun look when you're using this all together in a quilt. This is one of my favorite prints as a line because if you follow me for any length of time, you know I've got a thing for owls. And I love the little owls, just the, all the different variations of them and the orange and the pumpkin and the little leaves falling, it's just perfect. When we were considering some projects that we might be able to do with this, I was originally thinking this could be a background with all the little ghouls swirling around, but honestly, I think it would stand out. I think what you do is you get a nice Paris gray, really light gray as your background, or maybe some white, and you can just have this be a print that stands all on its own. Here's that modeled print again. This time it is black with hints of really deep brown. I think I have to take it back. I think this version of the owl print is my favorite. I love how those orange owls are just popping against that black brown background. It's very similar to this model print here. Here's that classic Halloween print again. We saw it earlier with an orange background. Here we have a nice gray background so it makes those orange owls really pop out. Here's our black cats again on a nice gray background. Here are those ghouls again, this time in a total gray scale. I think you could get away as using this as a background, but you would have to make sure that you're okay with it being a little busy. 
We're gonna wrap up with a blue colorway. Again, we've got a nice mottled deep blue with the black cats on it, it's very moody. I really love this version of the Halloween print with the blue background. Everything pops, the ghosts, the, the pumpkins, the owls, it's just really adorable. And I think it would make a great outside of a treat bag. And we're gonna wrap up with our final print. This is the ghost. This is the only one that really isn't low volume because we have that blue background. So the white ghosts just kind of pop out. All right, so that's Haunted Hollow by Tracy English for Clothworks Fabrics. I love Clothworks. They always come up with such fun prints. And this is no exception. It would be fabulous for Halloween quilts as well as for you to make some treat bags for the little ones in your life. We've got a couple other oldies but goodies that I wanna make sure you see too. These are our Halloween prints from last year that we still have a little bit of. Now, just so you know, fabric prices have gone up about a dollar a yard since we got this stuff last year. So if you're looking for Halloween on a budget, this one will be a little bit lesser price for you than the new stuff. But it's not on sale, we just got it at a better price because it was pre-inflation. This was Art Gallery Fabric Spooky and Sweeter panel from last year. It has these lovely prints here that you could make an instant throw pillow out of. You could just match some coordinating fabric for the back grain, call it a day. It has this really cool bunting section where it actually has cut lines for you where it shows you where you just need to cut everything off. And then you could easily just stitch around the edges and create a cute little bunting to decorate with. I think that would be adorable. These are plushy patterns. So my daughter is eight and she made a bunch of plushies all on her own and you absolutely could do that with this too. All you would need to do is cut around the edges, lay everything right sides together, and then sew on the dotted line, leave an opening for turning, stuff it, and you have an adorable plushie. I think she totally could manage this at her level of sewing at eight. So that would be a fun one to do with the kids. And then we have this trick or treat. This would be a fun center of a, of a bag, maybe a cute little wall hanging, or even just a trick or treat bag. Like this could be the front of the trick or treat bag and then you could do something else for the back. It's a good enough size to make that happen. So we have just a few of these panels left and we do have a teeny bit of coordinating yardage left. So that way you could get something for say the backing if you wanted to make sure that that fit perfectly. However, you wouldn't have to just get art gallery. We've got yardage of plenty of other Halloween collections too that you could mix and match and make this work. And it's not that all Halloween goes with all Halloween the way all batik goes with all batik, but it's pretty close and you can get away with a lot. Last up, we still have a little bit of bring your own booze left. What we did was we created a new fat quarter bundle that has this in it. There are only 10 of them available. They all coordinate together really well. And I love it when we are including things like purple and pink in Halloween. It's just my favorite when we get to make it a little girly instead of so spooky. I want it to be sweet too. So this one is Bring Your Own Booze. We have almost the entire colorway of the one that had the purple and the lime green. So this is the bats print. This is Ghoul's Night and a bunch of little animals have dressed up to go trick or treating. We've got cats as mermaids. I think this might be a hamster as some sort of bird angel. And then of course we have a little ghost. Here's that same print, but with a lime green background. It makes it look totally different, but just as fun. This one, we have some pumpkins, including one that's dressed up as a little cat vampire. It's very cute and they have all the different little faces on them and I love that lime green and purple combination. We've got our haunted houses and you could absolutely fussy cut these to be the center of your blocks or we used them in our boom mug rugs last year and cut them up very tiny and it still looked great. So whether you are specifically cutting to showcase each haunted house or you just let it fall where it is with a rotary cutter, it's going to look great. All right, we've got the bats again, this time in a new colorway. It's kind of a beige background for this one. Here are those pumpkins again, this time with a very moody blue background and orange and lime pumpkins. And we're gonna wrap it up with one final pumpkin print. This one is so fun. I think it'd be great for any little girls out there with that purple pumpkin and the little orange. That combo is just fabulous and I love it. 
All right, so that is bring your own booze. We only have a little bit of this left. It was purchased pre-inflation, so your prices are gonna be a little bit better on that. So if you're on a budget, this might be a good one for you to check out. All right, thanks so much for checking out these Halloween fabrics with me. I hope you've enjoyed our Halloween week where we brought you some ideas on things you can do for Halloween projects this year. And you have plenty of time to start and actually get it done in time for the holiday. So that's gonna be really fun. So until next time, happy quilting. Boo, I gotcha. Mm -hmm.